The last few years have been tough for California farmer Jordan Parsons. Since 2011, we've had complete crop failures the last four years in a row. In terms of the irrigated stuff, we've seen acreage drop because our wells can't hold up. Now, for the first time in a long time, his fields are green, thanks to the El Nino global weather system that's bringing water to California. Scientists measuring the snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains say it's well above average for this time of year. Near San Diego, where surfers catch Pacific waves, technicians from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography take readings of ocean temperatures at the end of a pier. But while rain and snow have increased, El Nino won't wipe out the effects of years of drought, scientists say. It's really quite unlikely, and it doesn't look like it's shaping up so far. I mean, even if we had a normal strong El Nino, we would be very unlikely to erase our way out of so many years of drought that we've had at this point. No one knows how strong the El Nino will be, so officials say the 38 million Californians need to keep conserving water. We can't say that the drought is over yet. We're still in the rainy season. We don't know how much we will um, end up with. So basically the message has been, you know, people have really stepped up to the plate and tried to conserve in the urban sector, and we want them to keep doing so. Farmers complain about water set aside for the environment and at-risk species, including commercially valuable salmon. When we're going to favor a fish over farmers in the valley, I, as a farmer, it's, it's hard to be satisfied. Officials say they're following the law. The law requires that the water be provided for them. More rain would be good news for California, but there's bad news as well. El Nino downpours could cause flash floods and mudslides, and already some areas are seeing severe coastal erosion. Heavy January storms swamped parts of Southern California, and in Pacifica, south of San Francisco, high tides and battering waves have left these residential buildings teetering on the edge. All the storms have started hitting, the place is literally falling off the cliff. Authorities ordered residents to leave before El Nino tumbles their homes into the sea. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, La Jolla, California.